Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild with Lady Legend XO. In today's video, we're going to head out to Yukon and do a little bit of night hunting for some gray wolves. Now, gray wolf hunting is an excellent way to level up your character. It is extremely great for money. Each wolf, if you get a vital, will pay you around $1,500. <laughs> so I've been doing a lot of uh, night hunting for gray wolves since I reset my account. And it's been leveling me up extremely quickly. I'm using the 7 mil here. The 30 odd 6 is probably a better weapon. I am going to be also using that in today's video, but I just wanted to show you both. And the reason for that is uh, the 7mm, as powerful a gun as it is, and it is a very good gun, it is just a single shooter, so you have to wait that uh, couple of seconds for the second bullet to reload. And that can be inconvenient when hunting wolves, because you want to get that second and third shot off right away. So the 30 odd 6, although not quite as powerful, is absolutely sufficient for hunting grey wolves and uh, is probably your best weapon. I mean, there are lots of weapons you can use. You can use the 6.5, you can use the 7 mil. You can even use the 243 if you want. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> You're gonna be doing some tracking, but they all will give you integrity. And there is a weapons integrity chart on my Discord. So we have a nice gold gray wolf. And you just wanna hit a vital. You wanna get uh, a lung, the heart, the neck, even the liver. And those are all good vital shots to give you your proper metal rating. So here are zone times for gray wolves. I like to hunt them in their drink time, which is midnight to 3 or 3.30. And the areas with stars, the lakes with stars, are the places that I find them the most often. And a lot of those spots are where we are in, uh, in the video here. And when you go out, you want to have health. Definitely have it really close. To your weapon of choice because you are going to get attacked by wolves. It is going to happen. You want to be able to grab that health real quick and get back to your weapon. You want to spot every single one of them before you start shooting them in case you do have a legendary one, a legendary wolf that has a potential diamond, that's the one you want to get first. So I recommend spotting them before you start shooting. And never shoot one unless you know what level it is first because you want to make sure you take a great shot if it is <laughs> that potential diamond wolf, absolutely. Now there's a nice red brown. If you don't have one of those, that's a great one to put in the lodge. Yep, they uh, <laughs> keep taking nips out of me. You see my health keeps going down. I'm trying to get a shot in and now I'm grabbing my health. And honestly, if I'm being attacked by a legendary wolf, I will not take a bad shot. I will let him kill me before I will take a bad shot on him. I'd rather him kill me. I can always come back and track him after, but just killing him with a poor shot to stay alive is not a smart thing to do. So that's what I would recommend. So that's a nice level seven gold, 37.2 trophy. And I'm actually just on my own map, but I have it set up for multiplayer, so. I have friends I hunt with all the time. They can just jump in and out of my maps if necessary. We do that. That way we can farm each other's maps. Red brown. That's a really nice one. Very nice. And that was a gold. And these are the lakes I'm at at the very top of the map. Now the one on the right doesn't usually have wolves or it might have one pack. The left lake is always a good lake for wolves. There's usually at least a couple packs of wolves on there at night. And that was a nice gold. You can see all the wolves that I've killed. Yeah, it is really good for leveling up or generating cash. One of the best things you can do is hunt wolves for cash. So we have a level six. So you'll notice I'm, I'm trying to spot every single one that I possibly can. And when you're spotting, you want to be looking. I know it's tough to be able to spot out a melanistic, but you can usually tell if one of the wolves is albino or egg white. I mean, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between those two, but both of those are nice finds. I am still trying to find a diamond red-brown or a diamond 
egg white or any of those different variations would be amazing. But on this hunt, we're looking for that legendary. We haven't found him yet. Hopefully he's out there. Now you can use the night vision scope, but I like to zoom in as much as I can. And I do have the spotting perk, so I don't bother with it. As long as you can see what it is you need to shoot, then whatever works for you, right? So yeah, I took a shot. I think they're coming to get me now. And you notice I get in the water, and the reason I do this is when a predator is trying to get you, if you can get immerse yourself in water, they cannot get you to kill you. And so if I'm close to water, I'll get in the water as fast as I can, and then start spotting them. Once I've spotted them all, then I'll start uh, picking them off with my rifle. And we have another gold, level 6, just a common, with a double lung. And the night vision binoculars are super, super helpful when you're hunting at night. You don't absolutely have to have them. You can get by without them, but they are very nice and you will see a lot more. And this is an amazing spot for wolves, this lake down here. As you can see, there is just a pile of wolves across the lake there. And it's nice because it's all, it's the burnt forest. So you can see through all of the trees and there's just a pile of them. And if you can believe it, as I go through and spot them, there isn't a single legendary wolf in the bunch. <laughs> so I didn't have super good luck that night, but I'm going to check through and make sure. Always make sure you spot every single one before you start shooting. And you see that one there? That's either an albino or an egg white. You can tell it's definitely lighter than the rest. I'm guessing it's an egg white. Albinos tend to be very, very bright white. But again, it is hard to tell the difference. Just, just from spotting them from a distance, it is very hard. But uh, yeah, hunting wolves at night is a lot of fun. I like to get prone, so I get a, a steady a shot as possible. I try to get to about 150 to 200 meters. And I just lay down and start pinging them off. I start with the largest ones and then I just hit whichever ones are out giving me a, a nice shot. But I am going to start with this egg white. So that is definitely one I would like for my lodge. I mean, I do have one, but I'll throw another one in there. Absolutely. And you can do uh, broadside angle shots, you can do front on shots, as long as you get a vital. And the nice thing about wolves is, you know, they don't tend to run away. Sometimes they do, but often they just run around, sometimes they get aggressive. But it's usually, you know, possible to get a bunch of them at one time, whereas when you're hunting deer, you shoot one and the rest take off. So that's why these are so great for cash, plus they pay so well. And down he goes. Now, if you have the rhino, which I don't have yet because I reset, that is an amazing weapon for hunting wolves with. Probably not from 200 meters, you'd want to get closer. But with the rhino, when you shoot them, they drop. They don't get back up. Whereas with the 30-odd six, when you shoot them, they go down, they get up, they bite you, then they die. <laughs> they get a little revenge in first, so... And the 7 mil does tend to drop them faster than the 30 odd 6, but you have to wait for the gun to reload. So so these guys are fleeing now. They've had enough. I also want to point out that we are only allowed to kill up to three animals in a particular zone without killing the zone. So when you kill four or more animals, you're going to delete that zone unless you set up a tripod or some sort of hunting structure. And when you do that, you are then able to kill, I believe, up to 16 animals without killing the zone first. So that's something to keep in mind. So yeah, I have definitely killed off my zones here. Now, when you kill off a zone, it doesn't mean you aren't going to have wolves on your map necessarily. It just means they're going to be somewhere else. You're not going to know where their zone is going to be when they do 
regenerate. So. And here we have a nice level 6 gold. Double lung. And yeah, you just, ha just have a big pile of wolves to pick up. <laughs> really nice big payday. All kinds of bodies lying around. Level 3, silver. I wanted to let you guys know that I am going away this following week to my cottage. So I may not be able to get as many videos uploaded. We do not have internet up there. <laughs> it's definitely a cottage, but it is my favorite place on earth to go. So I'm really excited. So... There may not be as much content out next week, but I will definitely be back with lots of videos the following week. And here we have a beautiful level 6 gold egg white. 36.1 trophy, double lungdom from 172.36 meters. And that's, that's a really beautiful wolf. Absolutely. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button. And I hope you'll head out to Yukon and hunt yourself some wolves. Until next time, you take care.